Hey everybody and welcome back to Pierce Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed my two reviews that I posted earlier today. So I thought I'd kick this Gaming News one off with real, Feel Real Virtual Reality Match Gives You a Whiff of the Game. Now I'll put a link in the description for you guys like I always do. But I guess you put this under the Oculus Rift and it actually gives you like what the game actually feels. Or whatever. So I guess so much progress has been made now they figure this is going to be another add-on. So a real feel is worn below your virtual reality visor, it contains an odor generator, smell vision wind generators, water mist openings, and a microphone. You can already imagine what this feels like. You've donned your Oculus Rift and stepped into a digital beach. So basically seagulls and stuff kiss your face and you take a deep breath and catch a whiff of salt and seaweed. That's pretty cool. It retails for 250 bucks. Now I don't know how well it's actually going to work. It comes with... Uh, the pre-order package includes Scents Jungle, Ocean, Fire, and Wind. So it looks like you have to buy scent packs to get this to work. And I thought this was pretty cool up until, like, 250 bucks. Yeah, is it worth it? Uh, maybe. But virtual reality headset's probably going to be, that means it's going to be around 400 bucks. I'm not going to spend almost $800 for, you know, this. $800 for virtual reality and this. I mean, it'll probably feel way more like you're actually in the game because I guess if wind blowing, it blows on your face and you can, like, smell. I don't know how well this is going to work. That's got to be a mother to code for. But, hey, we'll have to see. This is it's a good, like, design. I mean, I hope it goes over well, which I don't think it will. But we will have to see. I don't know if, like, the mist will get on the floor. I don't know how much mist it's going to actually be. But we'll have to see. This is still very early, but it's cool that this is coming out, so maybe, just maybe, this will come out for the PS4 and Xbox One virtual reality, which I think the virtual reality for the Xbox One is going to be the HoloLens, which the HoloLens is going to be beast. But yeah, it'll be hot or cold, wind, or depending upon the weather and the environment. And I guess it runs for hours on a charge. So guys, look forward to this, because who knows, I might pick this up. You never even know. Alright, so Titanfall 2 is confirmed, and it's coming to multiple consoles, PS4, Xbox One, and PC, so it looks like Xbox One lost their exclusive licensing deal or whatever with uh, EA for Titanfall 2. And I don't know why Titanfall wouldn't do this in the first place, because they are going to get way more sales doing this on PS4. Titanfall 1 wasn't even that good to begin with. Now, don't hate me for that, guys, I just don't get into those kind of games, but it sucked, to be honest. I never get into Titanfall or anything like that, so the game, looked, visually, it looked great. Just the game kind of, uh, you know. And this is what uh, Zimpella said. I'm not sure, quite sure who he is. But this is what he said. I wouldn't have done it any differently. We set out to do it, and it was one of our goals. I mean, pr obviously prohibits a certain group of people playing the game. As content creators, you want to get into many people's hands as possible. We put some single-player elements in there, though, and tried to mix it up. Maybe we could have mixed it up a bit better because some people blew right away right by it and didn't even see it because there was so much action happening around it it's tough because you hit people over the head with it it becomes intrusive and there are people who don't want to care about it where does that needle fall i think it will take a while to figure out and we haven't figured it out yet so he's saying like what they could do for the next gen game i guess who cares really to be honest with you titanfall Good luck on the PS4 and Xbox One and PC, because honestly, I don't think it's going to do too well. But who knows? I can't say anything. It's probably going to sell at least 3 million copies, at least. I don't know how many it's sold on the Xbox One, but it's probably going to sell at least 3 to 6 million, I'd have to say, somewhere around there. Alright, next piece of news is the PS4 system software update 2.50, and Sony has the new features. It's going to come with a spend and, spend and resume, so you can just put it in rest mode and come hit the PlayStation button and it'll come right back on where you left off. Xbox, I believe, had that for a while now, but hey, good thing it's here. I've been waiting for that to happen. Sub-account to master account upgrade. Not a big deal for me. But now that they'll be able to upgrade a sub-account to a master account directly from their PS4 when they turn 18. Removing restrictions for chat and enabling users to fund their own wallet. Facebook friend search. So pretty much you can see friends from Facebook if they have it, or friends of friends, I guess. And you can search for, you know, 
people on your Facebook list and see if they are a PlayStation member already. Remote play and share play feature at 60 FPS. Cool, but it's not that big of a deal to me. Accessibility options. Yukimura introduces a wide variety of options to make the PS4 entertainment experience even more accessible. It includes text-to-speech and large text bolder fonts, higher contrast UI, zoom for displayed pictures, invert colors on screen, and more. They will also be able to reassign buttons to the DualShock 4, making it easier for users with limited manual direct CD or limited reach and strength to play. Trophy improvements, and they have listened to feedback to improve trophies. Uh, a screenshot will automatically be captured at the moment a trophy is earned, making it easier for you to go over and share with your greatest game moments with your friends. They're also adding more sorting options along with the new ability to remove games from the trophy list that have zero completion. And share video clips to Daily Motion. I never use that website, but cool. And yeah, you can basically just share it to Daily Motion. So those features are all good. Small features, but you know, it is what it is. Can't ask for much more. At least they, the biggest one was a spe- suspend and resume feature, I think. I mean, I wonder what other one of my friends own a PS4 that weren't, didn't tell me. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah. Look forward to those features, guys. They should be coming out with, at the end of the month. And I also, Spotify is coming out for the PS4 also at the end of the month. So, look forward to that as well. And the last one, Xbox Boss hints at the feature of Xbox One. This is what Phil Spencer said. Honestly, the strategy is new. The original version of Xbox was to deliver a great gaming console that would also be useful for TV and other forms of entertainment, which could lift into a huge install base in success. There are still great media functions inside the box, and we stay delivering on those features. It's been, what, 11 months since I came on board as the head of Xbox to try and get refocused on the game vision, showing both the company and ourselves what's going on in PC and the huge communities that are there, and these opportunities for us on what's going on on the screen, and on the screen in a first-class, first-party way is a unique opportunity for us that we can step into. So pretty much the future of Xbox is going to look pretty bright, I have a feeling now they're trying to turn things around, so Xbox is really coming coming back again. And like I always say, if, if the PS4 didn't have MLB The Show, I would honestly be having an Xbox One right now. To be absolutely honest with you guys, like I always say, I wish I wish uh, Microsoft would would have came from the get go, and I wish they had an MLB game. Those are the two things. I wish they would have came off as complete like money bag grabbers if that even makes sense and I wish that a baseball game because then I probably own an Xbox so yeah guys that's all the gaming news I got for you guys today make sure to like comment favorite and subscribe and follow me on Twitch Twitter and Facebook I will talk to you guys tomorrow have a good one